Welcome back. And uh, as we earlier said, we shall talk more about the decision to pump 100 million Egyptian pounds to be able to finance small and medium uh, enterprises in order to boost and empower uh, the economic phase in Cairo. And uh, we're very delighted to be having with us Dr. Mustafa Damem, Professor of Economy and our Economic uh, analyst uh, with us uh, here uh, live uh, over the phone. G good morning, Dr. Tamem. Good morning. How are you doing, sir? How Hi. important is it to, st uh, to pump 100 million Egyptian pounds in order to finance the small and medium enterprises? Well, actually, the small and medium enterprises constitute a very important sector in the Egyptian economy uh, because they provide a lot of the goods and services uh, to the consumer uh, on various aspects. Certainly, uh, these projects uh, need assistance in a lot of uh, aspects, in the marketing aspect, probably, in the production aspect. So uh, giving an importance to these uh, projects is very important by the state because some of them might grow and be, will be large companies uh, which will be an addition to the Egyptian economy. Mm. Right. Uh how does that reflect the keenness of the state uh, and the leadership in particular on supporting and financing uh, this type of businesses in order to create a parallel uh, economy uh, to the major one? Well, certainly, uh, this, it's, uh, the, this, uh, these enterprises uh, constitute uh, a, a very important uh, sector, important sectors in the economy. Uh, they are uh, certainly they are integrated in a lot of uh, small projects, which support some of the large projects. So certainly there's an integration between uh, both these small and uh, medium scale enterprises and the large companies. So certainly it will be very very important to have a coordination between both. Right. What are the challenges that are facing the small and medium enterprises here in Egypt? As we all know that uh, countries like China uh, uh, and other countries are uh, booming when it, come to, uh, when it comes to the small and medium enterprises. But what exactly uh, does it take here in Egypt in order to be able to create a foundation for an economic boom for the type of uh, businesses? Well, certainly, uh, the small and uh, medium enterprises, as we mentioned, constitute a very important uh, aspect in the economy. Uh, again, uh, they face uh, some difficulties. Uh, I could mention them sometimes uh, the, the difficulties in financing uh, the project, in certainly in the continuation of the project and in the marketing and the sales concept, you see, because probably a lot of companies, do not, these comp small company enterprises, do not have the expertise to uh, say, sell their products and market them. So certainly these are two major obstacles that face these projects. How exactly does that type of businesses, the small, the micro businesses, uh, add uh, to the veins uh, and the heart of uh, the economic phase in Egypt? Uh, certainly, uh, in this, uh, in, in this uh, uh, transition, uh, the economy certainly now is in a transitional phase. Mm -hmm. uh, as uh, we see uh, that uh, uh, we, our country, should depend on uh, our uh, resources, because certainly on the outside world, you see, with the turbulence we have and a lot of problems worldwide, certainly uh, there will be a shortage in certain goods and services. So certainly having uh, these projects to uh, provide these uh, goods is very, very important in order to satisfy uh, the needs of the consumers and the economy and at the same time keep the prices down of a lot of products and services. Mm. Uh, we talked about satisfying the customer and the needs of the customers, but also or the consumers. But at the same time, uh, these small and medium enterprises are really important to be able to uh, share and empower. Uh, um, um, it, it, I mean, causes like empowering women, for example, uh, by uh, the small and medium enterprises that they uh, w would resort to in order to support their families, uh, the, the youth. 
and elderly people and the people who are um, lay, laid off from their jobs. How is it going in general to help the problem of joblessness uh, in Egypt? Uh, certainly, uh, one of the important factors here in these projects is certainly the uh, uh, the uh, having the uh, uh, recruitment of professional or qualified personnel uh, to uh, run and uh, manage these uh, these enterprises. This constitutes a major challenge to these uh, projects. Certainly, uh, uh, the, the state will be giving a lot of importance of uh, giving uh, technical assistance and help, specifically, as I mentioned, in the sales and marketing com concept, because most of these companies do not have the expertise in selling and marketing their products. And certainly, uh, this constitutes a difficulty uh, to uh, these products, to, uh, to these uh, companies to continue, you see, and survive. Uh, right, uh, but also uh, when we talk about uh, these particular, uh, uh, this particular type of economy in Egypt, how is it going uh, to uh, add to the major uh, map of economy? Is it going to um, um, change, uh, especially that we are over trying to overcome economic crisis that is overwhelming the whole world? Uh, certainly. Uh, these projects will be an added value to the economy mm. and uh, certainly will reduce uh, the effects of the international crisis, the worldwide economic crisis here, as I mentioned, in Egypt. So cer certainly uh, by having these companies, uh, we will have uh, a way to uh, fill the gap of a lot of uh, pro uh, pro products that, ha uh, that used to be uh, coming from abroad, you see. So certainly, by having, by encouraging these uh, companies and providing technical assistance and probably professional employees, certainly this will help these companies to grow and big. And uh, one day they'll be turning to a big company, and they'll be satisfying and probably they'll be filling the gap of uh, a lot of uh, products and services that are needed in in the Egyptian economy. Right. If you'd like to assess uh, the government's efforts to be able to empower this type of economy in Egypt and also uh, provide a good climate uh, for entrepreneurship here in Egypt. Uh, certainly, uh, the, uh, a very important aspect is certainly uh, giving uh, probably a lot of uh, financial facilities to these uh, companies, number two, certainly cutting bureaucratic uh, procedures uh, that might encounter these, uh, these companies in order that they be able to uh, sustain and continue. Certainly, uh, the governmental procedures sometimes will be probably a roadblock for these companies to continue. So certainly, the government should be giving emphasis on uh, cutting down these procedures and by having a certain methodology in order to faci give, faci facilitate the process of establishing and uh, providing uh, uh, assistance to these companies. Mm. Right. Uh, Mr. Mustafa Tamem, our economic analyst, would like to thank you so much, and we, uh, you have a beautiful day. And thank with, you. Uh, our pleasure, sir. And with this final item, we come to the end of the breakfast show for this morning. Many thanks to all of you. Until we see you again tomorrow, that's a goodbye.